Welcome to the three waxing show. Let's see if we can get three waxing in the frame. Today's topic is glycolic acid breakdown in the acne and ingrown pads. Oh my gosh, I just had the acne and ingrown pads. Let me go grab them real quick. <clears throat> I had one jar, which is my personal jar, because they're sold out, but they will be back in stock really soon. Let me um, see who's in the show today. Let's see here. Hello, Cheryl M1937. Welcome to the Deep Waxing Show. Hey, I'm Phoenix Skin Diva. Welcome back to the Deep Waxing Show. Hey, SD Queen, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. If you are new, let me know where you're coming from. Hey, Treasure Me for sure, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Hey, um, Shaffington, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Again, if you are new to the show, let me know where you're coming from and I can greet you properly. Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show, smooth. Um... Welcome, welcome. Um, Cheryl said hello, hello back, good to see you. Hey, Miss T4313, how are you? Welcome back to the waxing show. Good to see you, good to see you. Um, Phoenix Skin Diva, hey, hey. Uh, hey, uh, T. Ter Terica, is that how I say it? T. Terica, welcome to the Deep Waxing Show. Um, welcome to the Deep Waxing Show. I success again. If you are new, let me know where you're coming from. Treasure me for sure. Says thanks. You are welcome. Said, I am new to the show, Philly in the house. Well, welcome, Philly. Uh, there are plenty of people in the 3B Waxing Society that um, are from Philly. So, welcome, welcome. So, you may um, find some people that you can um, connect with. But, welcome, Misty Ford 313 said, Hello, Queen. Hello, Queen, back at you. Uh, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show, Unique Hands 39. Miss T Ford uh, said, you're glowing again. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Nitty's Girl, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Cheryl M is from Los Angeles. Well, welcome from Los Angeles. You're really close to... Me, I'm in Orange County. Hey, uh, nickname Bambi. Welcome to the Theory Waxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. Hey, Mariah. Welcome back to the Theory Waxing Show. Hey, hey, hey. Um, I don't know how to say that. Gwen or Marie. Gwen, welcome to the Theory Waxing Show. Mariah. Giving hearts, giving hearts back. I success says hey hey from Denver. Welcome from Denver. EB83, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. And if you are new, let me know where you're coming from so I can greet you properly. Uh, Meredith, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Be back in 15. Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. There's so many new faces. And then so many of you guys who are coming back. So welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad you're here. <clears throat> uh, today's topic, we're talking about glycolic acid, um, which is in the pads. If you are new, I do the show uh, Wednesday through Friday at 3.26 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm on a little early today. Um, but I did not go on yesterday. I have been doing a lot of behind the scenes things. Um... And so just prepping for the rest of the year. And so I didn't go on yesterday, but I will be, I am on today. Um, EB83, heart and wave, heart back at you. So uh, this month, 
We are focusing on the ingredients in the acne and ingrown pads and focusing on different ingredients that will help you with your skin uh, if you have acne, ingrowns, and uh, discoloration. So that's what I will be focusing on on the show for July. And I believe it's set for August as well. Last month, the show focused on waxing. So last month and the month before, we focused on waxing. A lot of good um, questions that you guys had about waxing. And then um, I was able to share information on if you're waxing at home. Uh, things to do to best prep for that, uh, ways to make your waxes better if you're going somewhere, and then things to look out for if you're getting waxed by somebody else. So uh, you can always click the link in the bio. The last button, once you get to click the link, will be where you can see the old old shows and uh, you know see some of the stuff we've been talking about um, there. Uh, if you're new, the layout of the show is I, you know, do intro, greet everyone, get to know each other a bit, and then we do announcements, and then we get into the intro so you know what I do and how I can help you, and then we get into the topic. And the topic, again, is the glycolic um, acid in the pads. And if you're new, I like to educate on ingredients so that way you know what is in my products but you also know what uh ingredients do so when you grab other products you know um why you're grabbing them and what they're doing for your skin hey exquisite beauty welcome back to the relaxing show all right so announcements uh the pads they will be back in stock for sure next week um they're both sold out. The acne ingrown pads and the fruit enzyme pads are both sold out. Uh, Exquisite Beauty says, hey, hey. Uh, hey, uh, Joda K. Welcome back to the Boo Waxing Show. Said, hola, hola, back. Um, I, you always come in when I'm talking about the pads. It's, it's like you know. Um, they will be back in stock next week on the uh, website. So I was just explaining like uh, it does take um, time because I like to have all the pads labeled and stuff so they're just ready to go when they're ordered. So um, that is by next week, everything will be all set. Oh my gosh, this chair is going, this chair just went in. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, Jody said, uh, yeah, yeah. So good news on that. Um, also, the second announcement, I uh, shit praying hands and thumbs up. The second announcement is, so I have been closed for a while and I'm actually working on, you know, opening back up, but more permanently. Uh, in the meantime, in between time, I am planning to do a wax pop-up, like a wax pop-up. I keep wanting to say pop-up shop, but it's more like pop-up salon. And so I'm looking at the week, of, not next week, but the week after, and probably on a Friday. So it might be the 16th that I do a wax pop-up and I'll do waxing services. I won't do facial services this time, but I will do waxing services. So you can still get waxed even though um, I'm not completely open. Um, I have been talking with other people where I can rent from them and do some pop-up before, in the meantime, while I'm getting my own um, place again and, and really figuring out what I want for my clients and what best way to serve you guys. Hey, um, Bald Spice, welcome back to the Waxing Show. So those are the two announcements. Um, I'm gonna get into the intro. Uh, this is where I let you know what I do and um, how I help people. Thank you for those of you who are coming back to the show and thank you for those of you who are new. Welcome to the 3 Waxing Show. Welcome to the 3 Waxing Show. And so you remember, welcome to the 3 Waxing Show. My name is Becca. I'm a pro waxer, skin therapist, and a licensed esthetician since 2010. I'm licensed in the state of Arizona and in California. Uh, I help people remove unwanted hair, and that's unwanted hair on your face and your body. Uh, acne, same, face and body. Uh, discoloration and ingrowns. I really focus a lot on ingrowns on the bikini line, but ingrowns anywhere. 
Um, I do the, do this through full body waxing with hard wax. So if you look on my feed, you'll see that um, I have some demonstrations of doing waxing uh, with hard wax. And then if you go further down on my feed, it's me waxing other people. I use strictly hard wax because it is gentle on the skin. Um, I also do this through facials, chemical peels, and my products. I'm known for the acne ingrown pads and the fruit enzyme pads, which I don't have fruit enzyme pads to show you. But um, I'm known for them because they are chemical exfoliants and they are great for tackling acne, discoloration, um, getting better waxes, and just overall good skin health. So um, that is that and how I was saying earlier, they are not in stock, but they will be really soon. And if you're on the products list, wait list, um, the product list, wait list, the product wait list, then you will be the first to know when they are ready um, to be shipped out. Um, I also help estheticians start their own product line. I've helped a lot of estheticians do that. Um, even like massage therapists and um, other professionals start their own product line, start their own salon suite, um, and then attract clients and then improve their waxing technique. So I do wax trainings for other estheticians. Uh, the way to stay connected with me, if you want some of this information, you can join the Wax Lounge. Uh, click the link in the bio, join the Wax Lounge, and that is where I talk about waxing. And if I go live about waxing, I will email the Wax Lounge. If you are interested in skincare information, like ingredients like we're talking about this month, then you want to join the lab. I just sent out an email to the lab letting you know that I'm going live and then also breaking down some of the information about glycolic acid and why it's beneficial to your skin. And then um, if you're a salon professional uh, and you, you know, have a salon or you're an esthetician in your career and you just need help in your career or want advice, I send out emails to um, that email list uh, about different information. And then I have two months dedicated to the show where I will be teaching on how to start your own product line on the show. And then I will be talking about um, attracting clients. The attracting clients will be in December and I believe the product line is in October. So those are uh, the months that I dedicate to the show for um, estheticians and professionals. But um, I email regularly the salon T. And recently I emailed the salon T about um, different things for business, but recently I did like, you know, investing in stocks and stuff like that. So I gave like a link on doing that kind of stuff. So anything that um, I think is helpful for you with your business, I um, send over. Hey, I am Miss Jones. Welcome to the Three Waxing Show. Hey, uh, Daddy's Girl. Welcome to the Three Waxing Show. So that's the intro. Those are different ways to connect. And you can always do one-on-ones with me. Like I teach people how to wax themselves at home. I do those on Tuesdays. Um, skin consultations on Tuesdays and then uh, estheticians who want to pick my brain those are on Tuesdays as well and you can click the link in the bio to get that information okay so let's get into the ingredient glycolic acid so if you're new I have these acne and growth pads I started them when I opened up 3B waxing in 2017 because I do a lot of Brazilian waxes uh, and I wanted something for my clients that would exfoliate their skin, that was a chemical exfoliant, that was in pad form, and that had no alcohol. I also really wanted glycolic, lactic, and um, salicylic acid. Hey, it's ne Nisha. How do I say it? Nisha? Is it Nisha? Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. If you're new, if any of you who just came in are new, let me know where you're coming from. Also, here on the show, we do water breaks. So get your water so you're staying hydrated. Um, we are going to have a water break. So, when I started through waxing, I really wanted something to help my clients with their acne, discoloration, and ingrowns um, that they could use on their face and body when they're ready to go. Um, 
like out or in the gym or anything. And what I noticed was that people had a hard time remembering to exfoliate. So I thought, okay, well, if it's in pad form, it'll be a lot easier to remember to do it. It's like easy. Um, the reason I wanted the salicylic, lactic, and glycolic acid in the pads is because of their specific benefits and how they help the skin. Today we're talking about glycolic acid. If you're familiar with glycolic acid, let me know and give me emoji, drop emoji. Um, glycolic acid is a great ingredient. Uh, it is a alpha hydroxy acid, which means that it exfoliates the skin on a cellular level. Um, and it eats away at the top dead skin cells. Uh, so if you're familiar with scrubs and um, physical exfoliation, this is different. It's just, it's stronger, but it's not um, abrasive on the skin. Hey, Elegance Can uh, Candle Company. Welcome back to the Thibu Waxing Show. Good to see you. So one thing I like to pride myself on um, with the pads and one thing you should look for when you are getting products or anything is to look to see if the active ingredients that the company claims to have are at the top. Uh, that means it is the um, most potent. Hey, uh, Manding. Oh, Black, welcome to the Boo Waxing Show. Uh, if you're new, let me know where you're coming from. Elegance Candle uh, said hi. Hello, everyone. She said hello, everyone. Um, her candles are amazing. Um, I had the um, little burners too. I forget what they're called. But I gave it to another client. I bought some for myself and for a client. And Anyways, so... One thing you want to look for when you are um, picking out products for yourself, you want to make sure that what you, um, the ingredients that you want are at the top. So if you notice, uh, the glycolic acid is the, it's technically the fourth ingredient, but it's the third on here because the salicylic acid is really the top ingredient because in America you have to, if you have a product that has salicylic acid, you have to have a drug facts label and it has to be um, an active ingredient, it has to be known. So technically it's the fourth um, ingredient. But that's what you wanna look for, that the stuff that you want to work at the top. So why would you want to use glycolic in your skincare routine? So, like I said, it's an alpha hydroxy acid and exfoliates, but it also improves the texture of your skin. Uh, so if you have like texture indents or like uh, you've dealt with acne and uh, it's left scarring, it, over time it's going to help the skin. Now it's not going to get rid of the full on scarring, like that's where you have to do glycolic um, acid peels and go into chemical peels. So over-the-counter is not going to do that, but over-the-counter is going to help because glycolic builds upon each other. So as you use it, it builds upon itself and you get more and more benefits. Uh, that's why a lot of people who use the pads, when they're consistent with it, they notice their skin getting better and better each time. The glycolic is building on top of each other. Um, glycolic is derived from sugar cane. So uh, if you like to know about where it's derived from, and you're into that kind of thing, it is from sugarcane. And um, the molecular size of it is very small, so it does work in the skin very well. Uh, hey, brown sugar kisses, welcome to the waxing show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. Now, not only can you find glycolic acid in the acne ingrown pads, but you can find glycolic acid in cleansers, um, there's one cleanser that I highlighted on the show, and I use it regularly. Hey, MJ Johnson, welcome back to the Thibu Waxing Show. Good to see you. There's one that I use regularly. Um, it's from Skinscript. It's uh, 
the glycolic acid uh, and it has, I think it's 17%. It's something in the teens because I had never seen an over-the-counter product that high from an esthetician to a client until the cleanser to the glycolic cleanser. Um, it is very strong, but it does amazing. Like if you cleanse your skin with that glycolic cleanser, you notice that it takes away the dead skin immediately and um, the texture of your skin just looks better. Um, I use it today uh, and how Miss T Ford was saying how my skin's glowing. A lot of times the days that I use it, my skin does glow um, because there's no, there's way less dead skin. Now, do I use the glycolic cleanser with the acne ingrown pads on the same day? Sometimes I do, I'll admit, but I don't recommend doing that unless you know your skin and you know that you can handle it because it's a lot. So if you have a bunch of things with glycolic acid, I would spread them out and not use them all on the same day because it can be too much. Um, you want to work your baby steps towards it. Hey, um, Kay Danielle. Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. We've been back at you, M M J. Hey, uh, M Renee. Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Hey, Music Love Black Power. Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Again, if you are new to the show, let me know where you're coming from. So we're talking about glycolic acid. Um, and it will improve the texture of your skin, but also glycolic acid uh, it's going to help your other products work better. So just like the pads, when you use the pads regularly, um, because you're exfoliating, the your other products are going to go come into the skin better because you don't have that dead skin blocking, um, blocking it from other products from coming in. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, Kate and Yale's from New Jersey. Welcome from New Jersey. So, what do I want to say about glycolic? I was saying that um, it removes dead skin so other stuff can go into your skin. Um, another thing. This is not just with glycolic acid. This is with lactic, salicylic, any acids, mandelic. Um, if you're using the pads, whether you're using the fruit enzymes or the acne ingrown, whether you're using a glycolic cleanser or anything that has those acids in it, you definitely want to be wearing sunscreen. And you want to do SPF 30 or above. And this is just because um, you are removing that dead uh, layer of skin. And so you're getting that new skin and it's way more sensitive. And so you don't want the sun to damage that and turn it darker or um, create irritation. I've seen that happen. I've done it myself when I've known better. Like I got a chemical pill and I didn't wear sunscreen. And I got a bunch of dark spots and I was like, oh, that was stupid. But it's true, like you have to wear sunscreen regularly. So if you are exfoliating your skin with a chemical exfoliate regularly, you need to be wearing sunscreen in the morning. Um, typically, I usually recommend people using the acne and grown pads three to four times a week and then doing that at night and then wearing sunscreen in the morning. Um, that's like a typical, oh, you should do it. But then when clients work with me, or um, they're like in the salon or and I know their skin or we've worked one-on-one -on, -one on video, then I adjust it to what they need. Usually three to four. And you can do it um, on your underarms, your bikini line. Glycolic is great for bikini line um, ingrowns. So that is another reason why I wanted glycolic acid in the pads because of um, it removing dead skin so that way those ingrowns can come out. So if you ever struggle with ingrowns, uh, I highly recommend the pads, but I also recommend getting products with glycolic acid in them uh, to help eat away at the dead skin. Uh, another thing for those of you who wax, if you're using um, the pads or glycolic, 
it will remove a lot of that top dead skin. So when you wax, you're getting a cleaner wax um, because it's able to get more hair. Um, that is a benefit of using glycolic. Also, there are uh, other types of glycolic products there. So I mentioned the cleanser, uh, which I do offer that one on 3 bwaxingcom uh, It's Skin Script Glycolic Cleanser. Um, the pads, obviously, but there are glycolic serums out there. Hey, Michelle Copeland, welcome to the 3 Waxing Show. Hey, uh, EB160, welcome to the 3 Waxing Show. Hey, Pure Lux Salon. Welcome back to the 3B Waxing Show. Good to see you. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. Uh, can we do video consultations for skincare or do we have to be in person? Um, no, you can do uh, video con consultations. If you click the link in the bio, it is the skin improvement call. And I do those on Tuesdays. Um, Pure Luxe Salon. Heart, heart, heart. Heart, heart, heart. Back at you. EB160. Waving back at you. Hi. Um, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show, promoting black business. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. We, um, we express boutique. Welcome, welcome. Um, Pure Lux Lanza, nice to see you again, Queen. Nice to see you. Um, yeah, good to see everyone. Again, if you are new and just came in, drop where you're coming from so I can greet you properly. So... Um, different things with ingredients. You can find serums that have glycolic in them. And like I was saying earlier, look at the top of the ingredients on the label to make sure that what they're saying on the front is like actually in the product and actually, um, and it's actually potent because sometimes I will go to stores and I'll just look at different skincare lines and they'll say oh we have um glycolic acid good for this uh oh we have this good for that but um it's wind up being the last ingredient on the ingredient list and you're like I'm not even getting what I'm not even getting what it said it would give like that tiktok I, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Um, I wasted my money. Anyways, I spend a lot of time on TikTok. Um, hey, uh, Jalea Alexander, 22. Welcome to the DB Waxing Show. EB160 said I need help with ingrown facial hair. So I recommend using the acne ingrown pads, which again will be back in stock soon. The glycolic cleanser uh, from SkinScript. Uh, it's on 3 That's a very good uh, cleanser for ingrowns. And then if you need help with your facial routine, like overall, um, then we can always do a skin consultation call. Hey, um, Ivy Bowden, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. Hey, Food Pays, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Uh, so yeah, start looking at ingredients of products. All the ingredients that I offer or all the products I offer, whether it be my own from 3B Waxing, PCA Skin, or Skin Script, they all have quality ingredients and all the, the ingredients that you want that are active are all at the top. And even when you go to the bottom of ingredients, it's not filler in, or bottom of the product ingredient list. There's not filler ingredients. That is very important. Um, EB160 said, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, like even when you go down here, like at the bottom of the pads, there's a uh, green tea extract. Like there's still stuff that's quality at the end. So you wanna look through the whole ingredient list, make sure what you are working on is at the top and then make sure there's not just filler. Um, an example of a filler, which doesn't mean it's a bad ingredient. Uh, I ha ha have this in some of the products that I recommend, but if you see a lot of fillers, then that's a sign that you should be like, uh, uh, 
Carl Boomer, Carl Bomber. I think that's how you say it. Um, C A R B O M E R, I believe. It's an ingredient that thickens things up. So you'll see it a lot in moisturizers and things that need to be really thickened. Um, it's not a bad ingredient. It it thickens ingredient like it has a purpose. Um, but if you start seeing a lot of ingredients that are just thickening the, the product and not really doing anything else, then you know, take note of that. Hey Latoya, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Hey Marathon Designs, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Uh, because I like to encourage people to pick products that do multiple things. These pads do exfoliate and so do the fruit enzymes, but they do a lot more than that. They There's green tea extract that calms the skin. There's salix alba that um, is a, it helps with inflammation. Um, and then there's moisturizing properties. So you want any product that you're using to have its main goal. And then you want it to do like other things as well. So, you, so you're doing multiple things at once. Um, I can't even think of the other ingredients in the glycolic cleanser that I was talking about, but I know when you're using it, you're, you're doing other stuff. I think it has arbutin in it. If you know anything about arbutin, it's good for, um, pigment and getting rid of dark spots. Um, I, I want to, I could say, oh, I struggle with dark spots because but i know how to get rid of them so like one of the things i struggle with is getting dark spots i don't have any on my face right now i may have one that popped up here but you can't see it because i have makeup on but um arbutin is very good for helping with dark spots and you want say you don't have any dark spots at the time like me i don't have any except for the chin because i picked at it and i know i shouldn't have so i know bad but Say you're not really focusing on a, a certain concern that you have with your skin. You still want to use products that are um, preventing those things. So I like to keep Arbutin around in my skin routine. Even when I'm not like focusing on any dark spots specifically. Just because it helps keep it. It helps keep those benefits going. Um... Hey, uh, Caroline Call Collie, welcome to the Debut Waxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. Ivy um, Bowden says, I have dark spots. So if you have dark spots, uh, Arbutin is a good ingredient. The glycolic cleanser I was talking about. Um, the acne ingrown pads are good because of the lactic acid. And one thing I tell people, especially when we're, we're doing consultations, because I help a lot of people with with dark spots is that you want to be putting a vitamin C on every single day. A vitamin C is an antioxidant um, serum. Sometimes it's not a serum, like Skin Scrub just came out with that uh, cream and I had it on the show a while ago, um, but most times it's a serum. Because Vitamin C is an uh, antioxidant, but it also is very good for lightening up the skin naturally um, and making the skin even. So, you know, knowing that you need vitamin C, arbutin, glycolic, lactic, those, those are ingredients that help with dark spots. Um, and you can put them on your bikini line. And um, like if you have dark spots on your bikini line, you can always do that. Another good product is the PCA Skin Pigment Gel. Uh, that one's a good spot treat for um, dark spots. So I feel like I've kind of gone on, no, I don't want to say tangent because this is all like related. Um, but any questions about what we talked about today? Uh, today was focused on glycolic. I know we got, went into a little bit more, but it is all connected. Um, again, these will be back in stock next week. Um, there's a lot of preparation that goes into it, but most importantly, I really want, and the reason why I talk about ingredients on the show is because I really want you to learn ingredients so you know what is in your products. Whether you get my products, products that I recommend, or if you go out and shop for your own products, like if you go and shop at Sephora and stuff like that, you know what you're looking for um, because 
you want to know ingredients and then you want to know your skin type and then once you know your skin type you can start pulling products based off your skin type if you're not sure what your skin type is and you need help you can either do a skin consultation call with me or you can grab um the perfect skincare guide and you can do it yourself i i talk about it in the skincare guide it's free to grab click the link in the bio perfect skincare guide and it goes into recommendations of products based off of your skin type so example um if you have really dry skin i always bring up this example because it's just such a good one that people understand is that if you have really dry skin um and you're hitting the winter months uh i recommend a creamy cleanser for the winter um because a creamy cleanser isn't going to strip away your skin but it wouldn't be so great for somebody who has oily skin because they're not going to feel like their skin's getting really that clean uh, because it's not taking away the oil like it needs to. So that's just an example. Um, and then in the, I believe in that perfect skincare guy, I go into what determines your skin type. It's based off of your pores. So your skin type is based off of like the size of your pores and then there's some other things that determine it too but um it's the pores and then you like when i'm in a in a salon and i'm working with a client you're looking at the elasticity like how the skin stretches um any veins uh dark areas where there's congestion there's a lot of things i look at as an esthetician when i look at somebody's skin but uh, most importantly you want to know the skin type so that uh, you are picking the products for your skin. So if there are no questions, then uh, that's all I got for you. Uh, you can do skin calls, grab the pit, perfect skincare guide. The pads will be back next week. And I will keep you updated about um, when I am doing the wax pop-up salon. That I will be emailing. It'll be like, if you're on the email list, you're good. I doubt that I'm going to put it on social media because, or like post about it just because I know that the slots are going to fill up because it's not like I'm doing a full day um, schedule. Because y'all know I used to work 9 to 9. I'm not doing that. So have a good rest of your evening. If you hear there's kids, they're playing in the pool. Um, have a good rest of your evening. I hope this was helpful as you are working on your skin care. Remember this is a journey, so you continue to do it. Don't feel discouraged. Um, just keep doing little steps at a time to get to your skin goals. So have a good one. And uh, hey, Precious Joel, welcome to the 3 Boxing Show. Um, Ivy Bowden says, thank you, you are welcome. I will see you guys next time.